Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show how to find the cross product of two vectors. And I have the general formula on the screen that we use to find the cross product. For example, here the vector A is has components A1i plus A2j plus A3k and the vector B has components B1i plus B2j plus B3k. To, for, to find the cross product, we use this matrix that we see on the screen and we use the three columns. The first column is the i elements, the j, the second column is the j elements, and the third column on the matrix uh, is the k elements. And once I make this matrix, to find the i elements, I, I cross the first column and I found the determinant the of the second and third column. And which means I cross multiplying in this way a2 times the b3 minus the a b2 times the a3. And this number give you the number in front of the i. The next element, the j, the j, we start by with a negative and then we cross the second column and we take the matrix to be the A1, B1, the A3, and the B3. And we also do a cross multiplication by subtracting the second diagonal to find the, the determinant of this matrix. And we do this multiplication, find the value times by J, and the third element, the K, we cross the K column and we take the matrix the, with the first and the second column. And we found the determinant the same way. And the numbers we found is this cross, is a vector that represents the cross product between the A times the B. For example, the I here, which is missing here, the I is I do the vectors here, the determinant. I cross the first column and I found the, I use a matrix with the second and third column. So it will be A2, B2, and this is A3, and B3. Now what you need to remember that we start with a positive for the I, then we subtract the J, and we add the K. So it's a plus, minus plus and this is the cross product of the two vectors once have an example also with with numbers and here i have the vector a as 1 comma 2 comma 3 the vector c is 7 comma 9 comma 0 and I want to find the cross product between the A times the C. So I use, I can also use the column vectors in this way. So I can cross, it's a cross product of these two vectors. And I prepare the matrix with three columns, I, J, and K. I put the first vector A into the first line here below the vectors, I, 2, 3. And the second vector is 7, 9, 0. Then I'm starting to do the finding the determinants. The first number on top will be will be found by crossing out the first column and find the determinant of the matrix 2, 3, 9, 0. And we cross multiply here 2 times 0 minus 9 times 3. And the number we found here is negative 27. The second number on this column vector below we will start from a negative okay we start always from a negative so it's a negative in front of a bracket then we cross the second column 
and then we found the determinant of the matrix 1, 7, 3, 0. So we tap by cross multiplication with 1 times 0 is 0, and then subtracting the 3 times 7 is minus 20, 21, and the negative front gives you plus 21. And to find the other element of the vector, I cross the k, the third column of the matrix, and I cross multiply. I found the determinant of the matrix 1, 7, 2, 9. So I cross multiplying 1 times 9 minus 7 times 2, and this gives you minus 5. So the cross product between the vectors a times the c is the negative is a vector, vector minus 27, 21 minus 5. And this uh, represents the elements. The first is the, for the i, the second is for the j, and the k is the third one. Another example here, you also may use the formula in this way, which is not a problem. You may use the formula or the matrix, the same thing. So here are the cross product between these two vectors. I put the vectors on the matrix with first column to be the i's, the second column to be the j's, the, k, the third column to be the k's, and then I do, I crossed the first column and I found the matrix the determinant of the matrix A2, B2, A3, B3, starting with positive. Then to find the J, I subtract for the second for the J. I cross the second column and I found that the determinant of the matrix A1, B1, A3, B3. Doing the cross multiplications, and for the k element, I cross the third column and I found the determinant of the a1, b1, a2, b2 by cross multiplication. And this gives you the numbers that you need to find the cross product. And I have also numbers here. For example, another example is the example I have below. The vector a is 3i plus 2j minus k, and the vector b is 1i plus 4j plus k. You see, I put these vectors into a matrix form. First column is the i, second column is the j, third column is the k. Then I take the determinants, and I start by crossing the first column, and I found the determinant of the matrix between the second and the third column. So I cross multiply and I found the 6. Then I start with a negative for the j and then I cross the second column and I found the determinant of the first and the third column. And this gives you a negative 4. And for the k element I cross the third column and then I found the determinant of the three first column and the second column. So it's 3, 1, 2, 4. This gives you 10. And this is the vector that represents the cross product between the A and the B. And the A and the B is a cross product. A times B is the cross product of these two vectors. If you like the lesson, you can subscribe and see more lessons like this one. Thank you for watching.